welcome back to another video um, so um, I don't know I don't know what the title of this video is gonna be but it's gonna be something related to matching so today I went to Dao to meet up with friends who matched um, match for this whole USMLE journey for those of you that are not aware of this process it's a process um, to get residency in the United States after MBBS in Pakistan so I'm here with my friends this is Rohan um, Leila, uh, Reem, Leila, and Sara, and um, I'm gonna go about ask everyone how they feel regarding matching um, advice for you guys, and yeah, so that's the video. Hope you enjoy. So this is Mustafa Maimon, my junior from medical school, uh, batch of 2022. Congratulations for matching, firstly. Um, how does it feel? Thank you so much. It feels amazing. Uh, it feels great to have a job, be employed, finally like have something uh, stable to do, something that I want to do. So that's awesome. Uh, like to be honest, like this is the second time I felt this happy. The first time was leaving now <laughs> or in medical school. So this is a really big achievement for me as well. Really happy, really excited, and uh, just can't wait for what I'm gonna do in the future. So um, it's very impressive that um you know as a graduate of 2022 to sit for the match the same year um what advice would you have for future applicants how should they um you know orient their career so that they could achieve something similar i, th I think what i would say to them is start early if a lot of people i see a lot of juniors i see they're starting really late starting the fourth year final year and then they're like okay i might start studying for step one or step two or whatever your steps right now but you have to start really early on if you want to uh, if you want to apply within graduation or within like the first one or two years of graduation because you might underestimate how long it takes just to get everything ready by the time your application is due and uh, the other thing i would say is reach out to people this is something i personally also didn't do i really didn't feel like reaching out but also felt like if i did that would have helped me a lot more uh, but something I worked out, but this is something that could have helped a lot. So don't feel afraid to reach out to anyone, your seniors, your mentors, whoever you feel comfortable reaching out to. What would you say was the toughest part of this journey? Um, the toughest part, well, it, the toughest part wasn't one specific part. It was just like enduring this whole uh, grind for God in like, the last five years, uh, doing all the exams, doing rotations, everything all around. It just you can't just sum it up in like one point or just say like this was hard, this was hard. The whole thing was just a grind. But just being on that treadmill, just being on that grind, it was rewarding but it was also pretty hard. But that's what I would say. Well, you made it, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Happy. So um, this is Sara Ali Asghar. Firstly, congratulations for matching. Thank you. Um, fun fact, we've never met and spoken in the five years, but during the journey, um, yeah. So, um, how does it feel to match? I think incredible. It was very good to match. I mean, it's the years of work and finally achieving that goal. And more importantly, we made friends, companions, and experience. I think that was an incredible experience. Did you think, did you believe that you could do this? I or? think I did. From the third year, I did. Okay, and if you could give one piece of advice to your juniors who are considering USMLE, what advice would you give them? I think uh, mentors matter a lot, friends matter a lot. कोई भी जर्नी सोलो नहीं होती है अपने अपने फ्रेंड्स बनाने होते हैं कंपेनियंस हेल्प सीक आउट करो पूछो नहीं आ रहा है डोंट डोंट बी अफ्रेड आस्क अराउंड एंड आई थिंक फिर रास्ते बन जाते हैं सो वी हैव ताहा बिन आरिफ एंड वी हैव रीम कंग्रेजुलेशंस फर्स्टली फॉर मैचिंग हाउ डज इट फील टू बी वेर यू आर राइट नाउ टू बी ऑनेस्ट इट फील्स ग्रेट एंड आई फील ब्लेस्ड and grateful to everyone who helped me throughout this journey and yeah yeah it feels really nice that all the hard work uh, pays off at the end and i'm grateful for all my friends and my batchmates who were along on this journey for me okay um did you guys think you know like one year back um today is what day 
uh, March 20th. Yeah. So did you guys think March 20th, 2022, you guys would be here today, um, you know, where you are? Um, I literally have no idea because I wasn't even done with step two. I like did step two in the end of the year, like in August. So I literally have no idea. I wasn't even sure to apply for the match. But yeah, I think um, it worked. It worked well out. Yeah. yeah. I knew that I would be in the match, but I did not know what the result would be. And I was hopeful. I think throughout the journey, the most important thing was being hopeful and having a positive approach to this whole journey. If you could give one piece of advice to future applicants, what would that advice be? I think the first and the most important advice is um, there is not a one, one thing which matters when it comes to match. There are plenty of things which matters, whether it comes to scores, LORs, MSPs, personal statement, everything. So you have to be prepared for everything and you never know what a program likes in your application. Um, so I think it's, it depends on everything. Yeah, I also think the same and uh, I would also emphasize on volunteer work like that is also a very important part and it was often brought up uh, so I think volunteer work is also important and uh, being the best uh, in whatever you do and uh, scores are also pretty important but that's not the only thing that determines your future. And one most important thing is that you have to keep your faith because there is so much uncertainty when it comes to match process, so you have to keep your faith high and believe in yourself and your hard work and you will achieve it, inshallah. Yeah. Chalo, congratulations, Rohan and Leila. Um, how does it feel to be where you are today? Uh, it feels great, it feels great, to be very honest. Um, yeah. Honestly, I think it, it feels unreal. Yeah. Like, we've been working hard towards this when you when did this uh, when did the USME process start for you guys? For me, it actually started in second year, was 2017. 2017. That's, that's when I started working on researches. That's when I knew I wanted to go to the US, and it was something that I just used to imagine that I can get there. But knowing I'm there, it's a feeling I can't explain. When I found out on Friday, I was like. <laughs> That was great. Yeah, my process started in 2018. So, when I was in third year, I was very excited. I was shocked that I was going to go to the US. So, it was an amazing journey thi because I was focused a lot on our researches. And then I moved forward towards doing USC or then you have to tailor your journey for every step. And you need dedication. Chahiye. This is all very important. So, so for future applicants who yeah. may watch this video, what advice do you have for them? I would like to give them the advice that Keep on helping each and everyone. Or because you have a leg pulling, that boy, you focus not on it. You are more humble. You will be with each other. With that, you will be a united platform. We are working, and we really do need that here in Pakistan, the community is strong. And we should help our juniors as well. So, yeah. So for so for all juniors who are watching, you know who to reach out. <laughs> what about you, Rohan? All, also, to add, I would agree with her. Stay humble. Stay grounded. Um, try not to back. Fight others. If try to help others, the Lord will help you. That's what I always say. That's what I always believe. And one thing you should do is, if you are in second year, third year, know what you want to do. Do not have two pathways. You will probably lose on both of them. Just focus on one and dedicate yourself on one, and just just follow through. You should also have. I honestly, you should have an obsession. If you don't have an obsession, you won't make it. As as simple as that. And one more important thing. Uh, for middle class people, you don't give the amount of money. Just take one step at a time. And then you start uh, earning and you save it. You don't do it because it depends on you. If your father or your mother or your family can support you, that's great. But if you are going to serve yourself, then you start to save it. Either by tuitions or small businesses or something like that. But take out your time. Don't make excuses and everyone can do it. We all have done it. So, you know. This is Selish, um, my junior in medical school. Um, congratulations for matching. Thank you, you too. How does it feel? Uh, I'm really excited and nervous at the same time, and uh, it was a pretty uncommon uh, journey for me. But I am really glad and uh, I'm really thankful that I did match. And uh, it's wonderful to have so many seniors match with me and my colleague too. And I'm really looking forward to being a pediatrician and hopefully making new friends and uh, going to another dimension. It's really good. So it's very impressive that you graduated from medical school, sat for the match, and then 
end up matching. Yeah. So that is very, very impressive. Um, so for any juniors that might be watching this video, what advice would you give them to achieve what you did? Uh, work on yourself. Don't uh, work on yourself. Concentrate on your journey. Concentrate on uh, yes, study hard, work hard, make good peers, have good connection, but be humble, be grounded in the fact that the journey you're gonna, your journey is your journey in the sense and. Uh, Core values are looked at during the interview more than what your schools and stuff. For example, uh, uh, like the experiences you're gonna have, especially for example for me, the the volunteering experiences they count too in the sense what they contribute to your clinical practice. So, for example, if you're doing trip, and uh, very common in uh, Dao, if you're doing trip, you can connect it to your clinical rotations in the sense that you can uh, you have the ability to. Uh, go to laymen and ask their questions and respond to them. That can convert to your clinical scenario. And that's a good point to one of the my one of my interviewers actually pointed out to me. So work on those two. Uh, have fun and don't forget the like this after like matching after matching the hard part starts and the clinical uh, side is pretty. It can be pretty tough and uh, you know very burn out. So enjoy this space, have fun, and you know good luck to the match. Good luck for everyone. Thank you. All right, so this is Mustafa. Congratulations for matching. Um, how do you feel? I feel great and humbled and excited to, for the next chapter. Um, last year, at this point, did you think you were going to make it? I had hopes, but I was open-minded. I was, I would have been happy either way. But I'm pretty grateful that I figured out what I wanted to do with my life and figured out that I want to go to the US for my residency. All right, and um, for any future applicants who may watch this video, what advice would you have for them? I think the best advice is to know what you want and believe in yourself. During my journey, I faced a lot of imposter syndrome and self-doubt and at times like questioning whether it could work out but on the I did and I'm confident that anyone can make it so long as they're persistent have faith and they should remember to be kind during the journey to everyone they meet all right thanks thank you congrats for matching um, and how does it feel it feels great to be honest like <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs>